hey everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel we just have an amazon haul today and i'm just going to share with you a couple of things that i got i got a new mic another one guys i know i got another one because for some reason i couldn't get my other mics to work and i was like are they even bluetooth i wasn't sure it said that they were bluetooth and then i would you know turn my bluetooth on and hit the scan button and like they didn't pop up so i was just like you know what let me just let me try a different microphone see if this works uh and hopefully i can figure it out because i would love to use a microphone i know that my audio right now is okay but i think it could you know it could be better it could improve i'm sorry i'm stuttering and i'm tired and it is I'm getting late and I need to upload this video and I was like, oh my goodness, should I do a voiceover? Should I just, you know, do real time? But, you know, the house wasn't quiet, so I was like, let me do a voiceover. I think it would be better to do a voiceover. But anyways, so I got some pastels. The reason why I got these pastels, I'm not going to use them to draw um or color with but they are for artists and i got them because i thought that they would be cool to have for coloring the like let's say i was doing frosting for a cake like a little polymer clay cake or something you can color the icing with pastels so i did get some uh, TLS, some translucent liquid, not TLS, yes, TLS, translucent uh, liquid Sculpey, that's what I got, and I thought that it would be a cool idea to mix some pastels in with some of that, and you can literally make whatever color frosting, you know, because there are, how many are there? There are 48 colors in this set. So you can probably make endless, uh, you know, like the, the colors of frosting is never ending. You can mix colors. And then I also got, you'll see a little bit later in the video, some pigments. What are they called? Resonant, yes, they are resin pigments, and you'll see those in a second. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how those pastels work. I have not really used them before, maybe when I was a kid, but um, I haven't really used them for crafts, and so I'm excited to use them. I'm excited to experiment with them and see what we can do with them. Maybe we could even use them in nails somehow, some way, right? That'd be cool. I'm pretty sure you can mix it with like some gel. I have seen people do some acrylic mixes with, not with chalks. I haven't seen anyone do pastels. I wonder if, hmm, that's actually would be a good experiment to maybe compare chalk and pastels and see which one works better in an acrylic mix for those of you that maybe use pasta or that use um chalks to make acrylic mixes little diy mixes that would be a good idea and see which one kind of breaks up better maybe pastels are a little bit smoother than chalks i'm not really sure but this is my ice cream scoop little nail holder display i made it i hope you guys like it i you know it took me a couple of days to make these things and this little basket my hands started to get tired, so I was like, let me take a break a couple of days and see, you know, if I can just rest my hands and then we'll come back to it. I tried to make my own little, you know, little piece there, little, I don't even know what you call it, guys. Um, but I tried to make my own with my own magnet and see if really it's the magnet that, okay, so you know the magnetic holder displays that we buy on amazon or you know aliexpress those magnetic magnetic ones now the one or the piece that holds the nail the magnet underneath there and the magnets that are on the actual holder i don't feel like those are too strong i really really don't they're not strong so that's why i tried to make my own 
holders there as you saw and I kind of just wanted to experiment with my own manic magnets and see you know what I can come up with maybe I can make something a little bit stronger than what they sell online uh and so shout out to MJ MJ emailed me uh MJ thank you thank you thank you thank you I really truly appreciate you emailing me I really was uh, surprised and then when I read the email I was like oh she is looking out thank you thank you thank you that's a big big lookout I have been looking for some bigger but stronger magnets at the same time and MJ emailed me and she was like girl you should check these out so thank you MJ and hey let's congratulate MJ on hitting 200 subscribers congratulations MJ and also, if you're not subscribed to her, please do so. But yeah, I'm really excited to use my new magnets and I'm happy to have them. So I just need to experiment and see if they are stronger than the ones that I have. Obviously, they're a little bit bigger and I want to see, I want to test out the strength. I really, really want to see if they are stronger and already by pulling them apart, I can tell that they probably are much stronger but i just need to put them in clay and see how they do so we definitely will be doing that together so i found this trio by koopa i did find it on amazon i believe each one of them were ten dollars each from what i saw on amazon i actually already have the koopa uh top uh, the glossy top and I have yet to use it. I've got other top coats that I'm using. I kind of don't like to open all of my product products. You know, I don't like to open every single top coat or base coat. I kind of like to just, if I'm using one or two, I'd like to use those two before I move on to a new one. But that's just me, preference. So it's cool because this is a trio. It does say that it comes with a free base coat. So these are UV LED Cure and they are no wipe then we have a matte and we also have a gel base i do not have the gel base or the gel or the matte um, i'm really really excited to use the top coat or the matte top coat i'm always you know kind of experimenting with tops or top coats and base coats specifically and i like to kind of play around and see which ones work for me which ones i like and so i have really been wanting to try Koopa. I've never tried Koopa before, so I did show you that I had already a Koopa top coat that, again, I haven't used yet. So now I've got two, which is great because backup is awesome. And, um, yeah, I really can't wait to let you guys know how I like the mattes and the gel base. But, yeah, there was a trio. And, like I said, they were $9.99, so it's pr pretty much like I got one free because I paid, I believe, $20 for this trio, which isn't bad. I don't think a bad deal at all so these are little clay creations that i used to use and i found that little hot pink ice cream scoop in my collection and i said i want to make a nail display that really looks like that and so that's when i came up with that pink one with the, the ice cream scoop with the uh, icing on it with the magnet on top and so I was just showing you guys just examples of, you know, what you can use this translucent liquid Sculpey on. It's a polymer clay, but it's liquid. So you can use it to make like frostings for donuts or ice creams or cakes. And we're talking clay here. This is, this is not edible. You cannot eat this. This is only for crafts. So, but yeah, I can't wait to try that as well with you all. That's a lot of fun. I actually have never tried uh, translucent liquid Sculpey before. Also, I'm excited to use this uh, with the, I think I already said this, with the pastels to see what other, you know, colors or what colors we can come up with. Like I said, you can do so many, and you can actually, I mean, there's every color in the rainbow plus some. So you can do so many different things with this, uh, these pastels and with this polymer clay or the liquid clay. 
so I'm excited. And this mat comes with an X-Acto knife, which is cool because I needed a new X-Acto knife because my other one broke. And it also comes with some extra blades, which is really, really cool. Now, you are supposed to be able to cut on this mat. And it does, I mean, if you really go at it, you probably will puncture it. I'm probably not going to cut on it um, much, but I'm definitely going to use it as a little clay mat. But yeah, I think it's cool that it came with an X-Acto knife and a couple of blades to go along with it. Then I got these mats to bake my polymer clay creations with. Normally I just use either like parch, is it parchment paper? I think it's parch, is it parchment? I think it's parchment paper. Uh, and I usually just bake on top of that or aluminum foil. My dog is scratching her blankets right now. So if you hear noise in the background, that's her. So I normally use aluminum foil uh, also, and I just make sure that the aluminum foil isn't crumpled or crinkled. I don't, I, you know, when you, when you have a polymer clay piece and you want the bottom to be really, really flat, you don't want to bake it on top of a textured surface because the bottom of your pl uh, clay piece will be become textured. And then you might have to file or buff it out or, you know, you could run into maybe ruining a piece that you really don't want to ruin so i think that these mats are very very uh, helpful because first of all you can bake them and they are nice and smooth so your pieces you, you know you won't have to worry about wrinkling or crinkling or anything like that so that's why i got those mats and here's the new mic we're gonna try it out we'll see we'll see how it works hopefully it works I will once again leave the links to all of these products that you see in this video in my description box below. Really, really hope I can get the microphone to work because I really want to use it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with improving your audio. I actually have a new phone on the way. I just got um, an upgrade for my phone and I don't even, I think I'm actually getting something completely different than what they were offering, which I think was completely worth it. Uh, and I'll show you that when it gets here because uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to have a new phone. The phone that I have right now is actually not um, very like old to me, but I guess I was due for an upgrade, which I had no idea. And that's super, super exciting. So hopefully in the next week or two, my quality will improve. My audio will improve. Audio will improve. And I hope that you guys can tell the difference. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. It doesn't seem like it's, like, difficult to set up or anything. Plug and play. 20 meters of accessible reception. Precise. I think it means audio. Widely compatible. I don't know. We'll see if the mic works. We'll try it out. I'm excited to try it, though. Here we have a kit full of a bunch of tools. It's really, really cool because the kit comes with a wide variety, wide range of different tools that you can do for clay. I've got a bunch of tools and I'm just going to show you, you know, what all is in the bag. I love these dotting tools. They are some heavy duty dotting tools. I really, really like them. They're really sturdy. Uh, they have actually got some weight to it. I really do recommend this kit if you are a clay artist. Uh, if you're starting off with clay, this is a great beginner kit as well. These are really, really good. Uh, they're not dotting tools. They look like giant dotting tools, like for nails, uh, but they're for clay. Like you can make flowers with them. I really like to use them to kind of smooth out, um, creases and things like that but yeah and then we've got this tool here this tool here i think is used to create texture which is you know really cool to have here you guys have seen these before these are actually dotting tools there and then we've got some kind of big chunky tools here there's a couple of wooden tools and then there is a plastic tool in there really sturdy 
kind of quality tools I would say here I wouldn't say anything is cheap I would say that everything is nice and sturdy these silicone tools I love the size of them they're kind of like I kind of do like the handles on them the handles don't seem to be you know low quality or like they're gonna fall apart or anything they seem very very strong and comfortable almost like a paintbrush style uh, silicone tools you can actually use these for 3d um, solid glue or 3d I was gonna say 3d charms you can use these for solid glue I think that would be a good idea these clay tools are awesome as well these are used when you are sculpting and things I thought that these could be helpful for me so since I'm getting back into clay and I don't really have most of these tools I've got some of these two like dotting tools I've got those um, but I've got a couple of silico silicone tools, but these are a little bit bigger for clay. So I love them. I love all of these tools. Great, great, great kits to have. I think tools are super necessary and important. I'm just going to take everything out of the bag. I think it's a little bit easier for me to kind of just grab everything. Uh, and I'd rather just kind of take everything out of their bags and put them in here. I think it's, it'll be a little bit easier for me that way but yeah love this kit i will link it down below if you're interested this is in a it. really great kit and i can't wait to try out all of the tools i really really love making tiny miniature clay creations so i think that all these tools are really going to benefit me in the end it's helpful to have i we you know when i first create or uh, discovered clay i would just use whatever i had around the house you know whatever i had around the house whether it be a q-tip whether it be a tweezer whether it be an old paintbrush the back of it a toothbrush to create texture you know you just use what you have and then eventually when you are able to get you know a bag of tools like this or you know, you can get a couple of things to help you out, just like in nails. Uh, you start slow. You don't, you know, that's how I did it. I mean, I've been collecting nail art and things for years, and it wasn't all at once. You know, it is just a really slow, slow thing. You get things here and you get things there a couple of things here a couple of things there and there's no you know there's no rush i slowly am building up my collection and so i am you know i've always been into like the arts and crafts and so you know i don't know i just always think that having tools are very very important I got some UV resin, 100 grams, fast curing, clear, no mixing, measuring, high hardness. I cannot wait to use this. There are warnings all over the place. So please, please, please wear your gloves. You know, open your windows. A lot of people wear respirators. You need to cover it up. Cover it up because the stuff can get stinky and you do not uh, you do not want it to get on your skin. You don't want it to touch your skin. So these are the epoxy resin pigments that I am or that I was talking about. There are so many different colors. There are 30 bottles. Now I have to kind of read and and to be honest with you, I do think that it's just pigment. Epoxy resin pigment. Okay, yeah. So I almost thought that these were little bottles of resin, like resin that was already colored. I didn't think that these were actual pigments. So I guess they're actual pigments, which is cool. Matcha green. This is cool. Great purple. And they're highly pigmented. There's a white. There's all sorts of purples there's a couple of browns oranges pinks yellow greens but um yeah these are good to color your resin so the resin that i just showed you 
comes clear and these are colors to color your resin and there are so many different colors here so the possibilities for you to create are endless i kind of wanted to pick out something that i was really really excited for in the video i think i'm excited about everything i'm excited to use everything in the video that you see uh of course when you get new things you just want to try it all and see how it all works out but yes if you enjoyed this video if you watched this far thank you thank you thank you so 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 very much if you hasn't if you haven't subscribed sorry i can't speak it's now at the end of the video and i'm tired it's been a long day and i'm having troubles help me help me now love you guys so much uh check the links in the description box i'll see you in the next video